Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers, my name is Didi, yes, uh, I like Bitcoin, I like Bob Marley, both with the B guys, um, don't worry, everything is going to be alright, let's quickly jump into the charts, because I have some amazing charts to share with you, and you will love what I am going to show you on these charts, <laughs> charts, 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 too many charts, bam. Over here this is the first one okay guys this is the four hour chart on bitcoin uh, i'm using the oryx platform I use the link down below to sign up to oryx we can see we had a short flag that was the moment we should have sold our bitcoins at uh, the trading portfolio and here we have a long uh, flag that's the moment when you get out and you buy again or you get out of your uh, leverage trade you're short or you buy bitcoins again in the dip um, then <clears throat> That would have been a 3.5 percent profit nice profit for a day of trading i think like that um now this is the bam bam indicator go to the bitcoinfamily.com to find some more information on it we are going to quickly jump into some more important charts over here this one this one is the weekly chart guys on the weekly chart i've been telling you this one here this nvt is very important it is flipping all the time it was gray it flipped to red then it flipped to gray again this week now it's red again this should stay red and this candle is going to close in four days and ten hours so in four days and ten hours this one should stay red if it becomes green uh, gray again we get this situation that we see over there which is not a positive situation gray red gray means huge dump so i want this to stay red on the weekly chart else I will get bearish because then I expect a lower low instead of a higher low. So we need to stay red and get a higher high. Very important guys. Now let's zoom out a little bit more, the monthly, let's see if that is positive. <clears throat> the monthly is not that positive in my opinion at the moment. Um, it worries me a little bit to be very honest. Why? If we look at that orange line, which is a 12 monthly moving average. Um, the moment we get below that line is the moment uh, mostly the bear market starts you see we go down this was the last time we, we went below that line then we go up that run again and we go below again and we stay below and then we go up is the bull run but when we get below this candle now which is closing in 12 days is now below is not positive guys so we need to close this candle above 47,000 to come above this orange line and that will be a very very hard week that's why i said in the last video this week is being is going to be very important it's like another 12 days that we have to close this candle above that orange line because look back in history we can look back very far this is the 2014 um, period over there the moment we close that candle below that orange line that was the moment in 2014 that the bear market started the moment we closed the blow that candle in 2018 is the moment in june that the bear market really started and the moment we close it here can be again the moment that the bear market is starting so that's not positive but again we have 12 more days to turn this around and if we look over here uh, we had that crash as well but that was on a lower level band so that's not that significant to me significant to me for me here around that midline that green line then closing down below it not positive around that midline here the green line then closing down below it not positive and that is also what we can see in the macd let's see if we put that one over here i'm going to do it like this um, <clears throat> because if we zoom in to that moment here in 2000 let's say 18 here the moment the macd the blue line crossed the red line was that moment we closed down below that the orange line and that is the moment that that bear market started like two-year bear market and if we look back further we have that also here guys in this period uh, okay i'm going to try to zoom out here the r blue line crossing the red line down and that is exactly what we are seeing now which i really 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 don't like the blue line is about to cross that red line again and that is not positive guys so on the monthly this line is going to close as well in 12 days so let's see what is going to happen over there not very positive in the long term 
I'm still bullish guys because let's see if we go to the bottom line this one which is now around 30k then it would still be higher than the previous all-time high of 20k like the previous bull run all-time high so yes you can start to dollar cost average in a little bit or out whatever you prefer at the moment uh, because maybe you want to take some profits um, but for me I'm still waiting those next 12 days to see what is going to happen and that is uh, the next charts are exactly the reason um, why that is going to happen I'm going to show you now and let's jump into those charts over here sorry for the noise it's kids uh, running around over here and uh, we are going to go bam over here so these charts are telling me why I must not freak out yet this is the first one this is the first one I'm going to shut the door one second um this is the first one um, you can see the volume that has been transacted on Bitcoin in 2021 12 trillion 12.4 trillion the year before was 2 trillion so this is a massive move in transactions done on the Bitcoin blockchain 12 trillion dollar that's huge now next chart is going to be about more the price again like, uh, that was not the best flow but this is the CAGR this is the CAGR guys on the CAGR let's see where my face is yes it's okay um, the, the the compounded average growth line, like of Bitcoin um, the first to the second halving we had a 202 percent 202 percent profit let's say like average profit in Bitcoin and from the second to the third halving we had 95 percent profit that's a four-year cycle 2012 to 2016 and then 2016 to 2020 now the third halving at the moment we have a 160 percent CAGR which is huge if you compare it with the last halving so massively in profit but the question is what is the rest of this period going to look like it's a four-year period 2020 to 2024 and that is what you can see for example in this chart over here in this chart you can see um my face is not perfectly but guys I, I just don't want free promos in my video um 200 over here 96 percent at the moment we are at 160 percent which line are we going to follow which cager will be there at the end of this third to fourth halving in 2024 will it be the first line that we are finding support on now then we are talking about a 150 percent CAGR which is a price of three hundred thirty thousand dollar per Bitcoin will it be 100 percent then we are talking about a 135 thousand price of Bitcoin the 75 will be an eighty thousand uh, dollar price of Bitcoin and if we, even if we just do a 50 percent CAGR we will still be at 43k in 2024 really interesting time. so it's like a worst case scenario chart for me really interesting uh, thanks Charles BTC for uh, posting this chart I have one more chart bam that is this one and um, that is uh, the yearly candles uh, like in the beginning of the year last year I said three greens run red three greens one red and three greens and run red that is what we said and um, but we said the third green candle should be a large green candle like we see over there this didn't happen we didn't see that third green large candle it was a small candle and this was starting red now we need to make a very large green candle so mixed feelings on what is happening at the moment in bitcoin long term i'm still very bullish mid term still also bullish short term next 12 days will be massively important i will want to see a green candle instead of a red candle I want to see the monthly closing above that orange line and um, if not I'm going to honestly admit that I'm starting to become bearish now another positive video can we end the video positive ah, I don't know <laughs> I wish you an amazing day I wish you an amazing uh, week because it's only Wednesday this is, uh, we are cutting the week in half today uh, the film crew came in we are going to film for the documentary the next couple of days so uh, might make less videos but uh, i hope you really enjoyed this one if you did enjoy this one give the video a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and leave a comment what do you think about these charts thank you for watching and see you tomorrow again bam